Hello everyone, welcome back to Potty Plan Entertainment. Back with a new vlog today. Um, so today I am going to look for DVDs with Sybil, my girlfriend. Um, it's gonna be a fun time. I got my breakfast sandwich there. I'm gonna eat it while I'm driving over to get Sybil. So uh, let's go. I'm not funny. You know, as soon as I finished recording that, I immediately looked over to my neighbor's place to see if they were looking at me again. If you remember a few vlogs ago, they were watching me vlog in my car. It was awkward. Okay, so it's a few hours later now. Um, I had some stuff to do. Uh, brought some papers to a, some friends that needed them. Um, I got 10 bucks out of it, which is cool. Uh, okay, don't kill anyone driving through here. Please don't walk in front of my car. Thank you, dude. Okay, um, I tried to do some homework at my girlfriend's house. For whatever reason, things just weren't loading, so I just gave up. So what I'm gonna go do now is I'm gonna go look for some DVDs for a little while. I'm gonna vlog it, I'm gonna upload this vlog, and then I'm gonna do some homework before I have to go to work. Uh, it's like 1.40 something right now, I gotta be at work by five, so I got time. One DVD that I really want is uh, Chariots of Fire. Uh, I have a playlist of my favorite like movie and TV sound, uh, soundtracks. Um, you're more than welcome to listen to it. It's a public playlist. Um, and I was listening to that last night while I was uh, working. And the Chariots of Fire theme, which is that slow motion running music that you always see in like movies and memes and stuff. Um, that's where it's from. So uh, I'm going to... I gotta sneeze. <laughs> I'm going to... <laughs> I'm going to look for that while I'm out because <laughs> uh, I've never seen Chariots of Fire and I want to see it. I still haven't watched like several of those DVDs that I bought the other day. Um, which is why I'm trying to not buy a bunch of movies right now because I still got like a bunch I need to watch. Um, so I'm just going to look for one. Just one. Um, which I'm hoping will be Chariots of Fire but if not that then you know hopefully something else. I'm I'm gonna go, where should I go? Uh, I mean, the only place I can think where I might find Chariots of Fire is second to Charles, so I guess I'll go there. Dude, it is so hot right now, like, it's not even funny. Like, honestly, I can't wait for the fall. Really, um, I mean, because that is my favorite season. Like, I, I love the fall, like, you know, the fall is, it's great. Um, but, uh, it's got my birthday in it, that's cool. My birthday's in October. Um, but yeah, it's just so hot and miserable. I, I can't wait for it to just be cool. Personally, I would rather be hot than cold, but, um... Gosh, it's so hot. You know why I think... I think that the majority of people were born in October. I have a feeling that that's true, and i tell you why. Because Valentine's Day is in February, right? Now, February is nine months before October. Now, I was born on October 16th, 1999. February, Valentine's Day is February 14th, which means I don't know this for a fact, and I'm not going to ask because I don't want to know, but I'm pretty sure I was conceived on Valentine's Day. It's just, the numbers add up, you know. Now, I Googled it, and... Uh, fall this year is supposed to start on September 22nd so I'm now it always whenever like a new season comes the weather always starts to change like a couple weeks before like the that season like officially starts and so I'm thinking that it'll probably get cold here within the next couple of weeks uh, or cool whatever you know I'm and I'm kind of looking forward to it honestly $26 even for gas, and that was with my Kroger fuel points. You know, gas was so much cheaper when everyone was afraid of COVID. And now that nobody cares anymore. I mean, people are still wearing their masks, but like everyone, nobody, like I never hear anybody say, stay home anymore. Like really, when's the last time you heard someone say that? I haven't heard anyone say stay home in forever. 
Actually, I need to go that way. I don't know why I'm going this way. I have never, I haven't heard some, like, I keep hearing, like, social distance, wash your hands, wear your mask. I always hear that all the time, but I never hear stay home anymore, ever. You know what I just thought of? So, like, Dunkin' Donuts, right? It's got that apostrophe there after Dunkin'. I'm starting to think that Dunkin' Donuts isn't named after a guy named Dunkin'. And it's really about dunking your donuts into your drink. Or am I just stupid? I'm probably just stupid. Okay, we are here. Now before I go in, uh, I want to talk about some of the new movies that I bought, that I've watched. So far I watched The Hangover and National Lampoon's Vacation. Now The Hangover was pretty funny. Uh, it was pretty good. I liked it. it. I would probably give it, um, if you know, know my channel, you know I rank movies on a scale of 0 to 100 in increments of 5. Um, I would probably give The Hangover an 80. I thought it was pretty good. Uh, and then I watched Nash and I, after that I watched National Lampoon's Vacation, and I would give that a 100. That was fantastic. I've also seen Christmas Vacation. I've heard that European Vacation and Casino Vacation are very good, but... Uh, I have seen Christmas Vacation. That's really good, too. I, I really like both of those. <sighs> I peed. Okay, so I'm out of Second and Charles now. Uh, so this is what I got. First thing I got was uh, Risky Business. Uh, this is a Tom Cruise classic. Uh, I haven't seen this, but I've heard that this is pretty great. Uh, so I was interested in watching this, so I got this. Uh, no, I could not find Chariots of Fire. Uh, unfortunately. So the other thing I got was Schindler's List. It comes in this nice book booklet thing, uh, which is pretty cool. That Actually, this was every copy that they had of Schindler's List was like this. Um, yeah, now this is like, I haven't seen this either, but this is like one of the greatest movies ever made. Um, Spielberg is a film master, so uh, yeah, I'm looking forward, I'm really looking forward to this. Um, I just hope none of these discs are scratched up or covered in fingerprints and stuff, but I'm, I'm gonna clean them like I always do. So this is the inside of the Schindler's List uh, thing. This disc has two sides. I, um, okay, so I think that's what. So full screen and, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what side A and side B is. I don't know what the difference is. Uh, I guess I'll find out though. Uh, and it came with this little booklet here. Um, I'm going to open that up for you. Hang on. If I can... It opens weird. Okay. So it comes with like this mailing thing that I'm not even going to bother trying to figure out what that means. Uh, and it comes with this stuff to read. Uh, pretty cool. This is pretty nice. Well, apparently, because this movie is so long, it's one of those discs that I'm going to have to flip it over and watch... <sighs> See, now I'm kind of starting to regret buying this. Okay, so the movie is three hours and 16 minutes with credits. Now, here's the thing, right? So the last Lord of the Rings movie, the Lord of the Rings Return of the King, I got that on DVD too, right? Great movie, by the way. Um, I'll review that at some point. I'll review the Lord of the Rings trilogy, but um, I didn't have to flip the disc for that one, so what did I have to do for this one? Like, what gives? Okay, so now I still have like several movies that I bought that I haven't seen before that I need to watch. So I should probably take a break from buying DVDs for a while, um, which would probably mean less vlogging. Um, but I'll see, still see if I can find a way to vlog. In case any of you are wondering what my next movie review will be, I have absolutely no idea. No idea. Uh, I'm just so busy with work and school right now. It's just, kind of harder to watch movies, but I'm definitely trying. Uh, whoa, need to slow down. Okay, I'm definitely trying. Um, just, uh, I have no idea what movie I'm gonna review next. No, I just, I got all these new movies that I bought that I need to watch. Um, and I got school and work, so it's just, it's a hard balance, but you know what, I'm 20. 21 a couple of months. I guess that's to be expected at this point in my life. But I'm trying. Alright guys, well I think that's going to do it for me. 
Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to Pod Plan Entertainment for more. Hit the like button. Leave movie review suggestions down in the comments down below. Follow me on Instagram at Party Planet Entertainment for channel updates and much love, guys. Thank you.